I don't ever want a senior dog to leave this world alone. Dogs give us too much unconditional love and loyalty. And I'm not about to let her down in this moment. And I have to tell you, pulling her from the shelter and having the entire team of staff and volunteers just as happy and joyful as I am, yay! Gives me the chills. Join me on Dawn's journey. At the end of this video, she's still going to need our help. But I think you're gonna love what happens. And in case you haven't heard her story, let me show you what happened when I first met her. Her family gave up on her because she is old and gross. And there's something about the senior dogs that just get me in the heart. I think it's because they dedicate their entire life to loyalty and love. And then when they become inconvenient, their family just abandons them. But we are not going to let her feel that way today. Let's go in and sit down with her. She might be a little blind. I'm so sorry. Hi. Hi, what is going on? All kinds of things, huh? Oh, this breaks my heart. First, let me just say she's a senior dog, and you can see some of the things on her are just from being a senior dog, but there are other things that are just downright neglect for years. I mean, her paws, hi. I am sorry, whatever happened to you, I am sorry, and we got you from here. It breaks my heart that we just let dogs down so much sometimes. It's like her whole life was dedicated to somebody loving them and caring for them. And then this, they just give up on her in her senior years. Hi, can you see me? Hi. Oh yeah, if you see her eyes, they're just all murky. Oh, you wanna come up here? You wanna come up here? Okay, there you go. If you saw her first video, I don't know if you caught this moment, but I'll tell you what I was thinking right here. I wanted to get up and walk out with her right then, but I couldn't because she was still on the mandatory five-day hold. But I know with senior dogs, they can't handle the stress of a shelter and they continue to get passed by by everyone there looking for young dogs. When I got home that day, I was sick to my stomach. And after my dog just passing, I am not ready yet to take dogs. So I knew I had to start making calls and I had to come up with a plan. What is this? <laughs> Look, she's like coming to life after getting out of here. She's so sweet. Wow, she's so happy. I was tearing up right here because I don't know if it's just me, but it almost looks like she's saying thank you. You're free, baby. You're free. You're safe. Oh, she is so sweet. Hi, mama. Hi. She's already looking better. Oh, my heart. This makes me so happy. We got you. I have an idea. Let's go get you your first ever puppuccino. You want a puppuccino? I think I have no clue what that is, bro. <laughs> you know what time it is? Puppuccino time. Puppuccino time. Puppuccino time. Puppuccino time. Puppuccino time. Puppuccino time. She is not impressed. I bought Dawn a new plush toy avocado toast. I want to do everything I can to make her as comfortable as possible. I need a puppuccino. Got it. She has no idea what's coming. Like she doesn't know. She's ne she's obviously never had anything like this. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is this is Dawn. And she's 12. Aww. And this will certainly be her first ever pup cup. Hey. So let's get into it, Dawn. Okay, go ahead. Let's see what okay. she does. There we go. Come on, Dawn. She's kind of blind too, I think. She's just like so excited. Oh, there it is. She <gasps> found it. Oh snap. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Looking for it. She just nibbled on the cup a little bit. <laughs> yeah, she didn't even know how to eat it. She's like trying to bite the cup. Good job, Dawn. She's like, give me another one, line them up. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you deserve so many puppuccinos. All right, quick potty break. Back on the road. Dawn, what, do you, what is she doing? 
I think she thinks she gets a puppuccino if she gets up on the stage. Uh, <laughs> that's so true. She <laughs> she's learned. Man, you're a quick learner. All right, here, come lay down in your bed. You'll be more comfortable. Come down here. It's nice to see her settling down and relaxing and happy with a full belly after that puppuccino. And as we're driving, I'm really reflecting and just thinking about how I want her to be so happy and how I'm so happy that an entire community has come together. It really does take a village and animal rescue. I mean, I remember when I first started texting to see if my friend could help. And I, I didn't think it was gonna happen. But then the tide shifted. Something happened that was giving me hope, but we didn't have much time. We had to move fast. But it's not that easy. There's a process and there's something I wanna do before we go. We need to get her cleaned up and groomed. The shelter groomer, Mel, was out that day. But here's the great news. Cheryl was willing to jump in and help because she loves Dawn too. Well, just getting a good bath and getting clean again. Smelling good, it's gonna make her feel good. This oatmeal shampoo is so soothing for Dawn. Who knows how long it's been since she's had a bath and her skin's in really bad shape. She's itchy and dry. Trust me when I say right now, she is feeling relieved. Cheryl can see how comforting this is to her, so she grabs the mitt and really gets in there and gives Dawn the scratching that she really deserves and loves. It feels so good for her. Her skin is pretty rough. It's got all kinds of flaky and dry. Looks like it's really itchy. Her feet look out there all in flame too. So I wanna make sure I get clean her toes. We're gonna even work on getting that green gunk out of her eyes. Now she's doing so good, she's calm, and it's because she knows she's safe. Now I will tell her over and over again that she is safe and that she is loved. But actions speak louder than words, especially when she can't see that great. So all of this coming together is really helping to reassure her that it's all gonna be okay. Okay, Cheryl's giving her a quick dry and a good brush. She's even putting some nose balm on there. Very important for this kind of dog, or a lot of dogs that get cracking on their nose. Oh, this would be nice. Look at that. You like that one? Oh, you do? Okay, perfect. Did she just pick out her own very lovely bandana? I think so, and it looks fantastic on her. And there's something about looking good that makes you feel good. And look, here's proof. Look at Dawn before and after. Wow. Okay, how did she do? She did really well. She smells so much better. Her skin looks much better too. She had a little some tail wags there and got the good spots every now and then and she'd give her whole body a shake. So she's all ready to go. Okay. She's very excited. Okay, there's still more to do though because any pet leaving the shelter needs to get microchipped. Look, she's all fresh and clean. All right, a quick prick and she's got the microchip in her and it's only about the size of a grain of rice. She came in without one. It's important to have one because if your pet ever gets lost, it will allow the shelter to contact you because it has all your contact information on there. Also note, it is not a GPS tracker. It just has information on it. Look at this. She may not move very fast, but she eats really fast. <laughs> they put a note on there, slow feeder. <laughs> okay, that's it. All we had to do was get her medical forms and information and we were out of there. And all of that coming together, none of it would have mattered if one very special person wouldn't have said yes. Say that one more time. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me start from the beginning, though, because this is a big deal. So immediately with Dawn, I knew that I could text Kelly and Andy, the founders of Frosted Faces Foundation, their senior dog rescue. But she said no right away. They're full. She couldn't take any more. All their actual kennel spots for intake are full. Turns out she just had a kennel come free. And so she can actually take Dawn. Dawn is going to Frosted Faces Foundation. <laughs> so here we are. Frosted Faces Foundation. This is the next step in Dawn's journey. They are saving her life. Let's go see what's in store for Dawn and I'm gonna show you what a senior dog rescue actually looks like. I mean, she has no idea how her life now is gonna change. Look who we have here. Hey, this is Dawn. 
It really made me smile that Kelly came out to meet Dawn and so did Andy. And Kelly walked me through the process of what would happen next with Dawn. She's going to go into a kennel and just get a moment to decompress until the doctor can see her. Right away, they're going to get her into blood work, x-rays, surgeries for her masses. She'll get spayed. And then after she's had time to heal, she will go into foster or her forever family. And while that makes me really happy and I handed off all the medical paper and the shelter intake paperwork to Kelly, when Kelly took her... Oh, Hi, Hi, love you. Good girl. Oh, it got me right in the heart. I'm really sad. That makes me really sad. I mean, I know she's in a better place and she's really happy now, but like, um, yeah. Okay, but I wasn't leaving yet because I asked Kelly and Andy if they could give us a tour because I wasn't leaving until I could show all of you what a senior dog rescue was like. As you can see, there's a lot of snoozing. They showed us around to some amazing senior dogs who are living their best life. It's like, it's like they're living in a resort. But the really important thing here is they're all ready for a family. They need a forever home because nothing beats that. So Kelly, what is Frosted Faces? We're Frosted Faces, we're a senior dog shelter and uh, we pull senior animals from open admission shelters, place them with families, and we cover lifelong medical costs for them as an incentive to adopt a senior. So our promise is to provide quality veterinary care, place them with the families all the way until they pass away, right? Right in the last chapter. So we, that means that we have given them all the medical care they can get and they have been given death with dignity in a home. But we do a lot more than animal sheltering. So we do emergency boarding for people who have medical needs um, or are trying to find housing. We help cover costs of privately owned animals. People can also write us into their wills so that they have a plan for their senior pets so they don't end up in the shelter and they can come here. It can be challenging dealing with a dog that has, is at the end of their life having medical issues or maybe um, even having some behavioral issues as they're in pain and stuff. But there are resources out there like Frosted Faces that can help. How can people help? What's the thing that helps the most? Every animal here has a fan, a frosted fan. They um, contribute $25 a month and that just helps us have ongoing predictable medical coverage. So definitely Dawn is going to need a fan, maybe two. <laughs> and uh, you get updates when that dog gets adopted, when that dog has a birthday, when that dog has a medical thing come up, and also when they pass away. Do donations help? Oh yeah, absolutely. We spend about $140,000 a month on medical expenses. Yeah. 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 All, all supplies for our veterinary staff plus our veterinary staff salaries. There's so much going on right now. Can someone come help you guys or, or how does that work? For sure, yeah, we, we welcome volunteers to come and volunteer here on site. We've got about 60 animals or so here on site at any given time and they all need walks and baths and all their medications. So we need volunteers for all that kind of stuff. You guys ready to see all the little? Oh, I'm so ready. Oh this is like goodness. what dreams are made of. I think one day if I end up going to heaven, <laughs> this is what heaven will look like when I get there. I mean, look at all these amazing dogs. Most of these dogs were given up on. Someone just said they're too old, they're not worth it anymore, but look how much life and love they still have. And wow, there are a lot of senior dogs that need help, obviously. It could be overwhelming, but here's the thing. Kelly and Andy are unstoppable. They pour their whole heart into helping these senior dogs. So I know they're gonna be okay. Okay, so and all these little ones are available for adoption? Yeah, yep. we have open house on Saturdays and Sundays from 10 until one. But anyone from the public can come sit in the yard with okay. these dogs. Okay. I asked Kelly, what dog here could I sit with that might need the most help? And right away, she took me to meet Suni. Hi, Suni, you're pretty. Oh, Come on. You say hi to everybody? Let's say hi to, oh, or do the belly rubs. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. This is Suni. She came from West Valley, LA over a year ago. Um, and we're just having trouble placing her. Um, so she needs a little help. What? Good girl. Why do you think it is? I mean, she's a great dog. You know, huh? Suni's not great with other dogs. She needs a family that doesn't okay. have any other pets. We actually have a program called the Molly and Me Project where we pay a foster 200 a month with who has no animals um, to take care of them. But no one has really offered to do that for her yet. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you can make $200 a month fostering? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, and have this great dog in your house. Mwah. Yeah, that sounds so, good. It is hard to place okay. a dog where there are no other dogs yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And so, you know, if that pay helps with like the pet deposit fee that your yep. landlord might need or something along those lines, exactly. like that could absolutely. And they still get free medical care here, you right. know? SUNY is incredible. And she's 11 years old, but she still plays with me like she's a puppy. I can't wait until someone fosters or adopts her. her. But now before I left, I asked Kelly if I could visit Dawn one more time to let her know everything was going to be okay. Because right now she's in a kennel as she goes through the intake process. Dawn? Dawn? No. Me, Alexis, and Kelly love you and we're glad you're safe. I've been trying to fake it. I have said I can take it. I think you should let me go Cause I need some time I need you Even if you can only donate a dollar Hit that donation button because it's going to help Dawn And she needs us right now She's gonna have medical costs She's gotta have some surgeries I know I ask a lot of each and every one of you But right now it matters It will go straight to Dawn Hit that donate button Thank you for being a part of Dawn's journey. It's not over yet. Make sure you subscribe so you're following along on this journey and please share this so everyone can see how amazing Frosted Faces Foundation and these senior dogs are. Kelly, Andy, and the entire team, thank you from the bottom of my heart for saving Dawn. If you want to adopt or sponsor Dawn or interested in any of the Frosted Faces programs, Go to rockykanaka.com slash frostedfaces. I'll also put the link down below.